Gary Chambers with Tractor View. I'm uh, doing a short video post um, from the cab of my spray coop. And today I'm out catching up on some spraying here. And what I wanted to talk about today was the GPS system that we decided to put into this spray coop. And um, the, the system that we put in, hey, the system that we put into this uh, coop was an Outback system. So aftermarket system. I've heard nothing but good things about them. A couple of my friends have them. I uh, thought it was definitely worth uh, considering. So got it in and put in the full-blown system. And what the full-blown system essentially is, is an S3 monitor, an E-Drive, and the Automate uh, into this coupe. And I wasn't sure on putting in the Automate um, because what that does is shuts your booms on and off on the ends. But uh, having had it now, I would never, ever even consider not putting in the Automate uh, if I was setting up a new system. So I'm just going to show you the uh, functionality of the screen here. Um, as you can see, I am out spraying right now. And this is my system here. Obviously, the green area is the portion of the field that I have completed. Um, the uh, light bar going up above uh, keeps you on track if you're manually steering it. Uh, the E-Drive is actually set up into the hydraulics for steering the system. Now, I also really like this S3 monitor very user friendly. The first time I used it, it was a little bit intimidating, but went through the manual. Very, very simple. Allows you to keep the fields in files, upload them to your USB drive. Oh, a little bit bumpy out here today. Um, anyways, uh, gives you a good overall map of what you're doing. Gives you several different views um, for uh, setting up the system. So I really like that. And what I like about the system is, is that it's really simple, touch screen, user friendly. Um, a lot of the systems now, like even the Automate, uh, if you're programming the Automate without the use of an S3, there's a lot more toggling through, control, enter, arrow, back, you know, a lot of that, whereas it's really laid out nice and large on here. Some of you out there might think, well, you know, the, the simpler the better, but to be perfectly honest, uh, I would go to the more sophisticated system, go to the Automate, go to the E-Drive, with the S3 monitor, it's worth the extra money by far. And in fact, it's actually gonna make it a little bit simpler for your application. So um, there's a ton of features on these. I'm sure they've got all the features on their website. Uh, I just wanted to bring it to, me, to you from my perspective where I was a little bit concerned over uh, the functionality, the complexity of it, especially with my dad running it. Um, you know, I thought he might uh, have some concerns over it. But really, uh, when you set it up so you don't have to hit any of the switches, you don't have to turn the, the booms off on the ends or where you're overlapping, I think it just makes it that much more functional uh, for you to watch the implement, keep an eye on your booms, and uh, for me, get a little more work done. Anyways, that's Tractor View for today. Thanks for watching.